So guys, Terence Crawford, um, I, I said yesterday that Terence Crawford wasn't happy. Uh, but let's, let's talk about Terence Crawford and, the, and Terence Crawford's interview when Terence Crawford said that there's no street, so there's no line, the best should fight the best in boxing. He's 100% bang on. Um, there's a lot of things that are right now in the sport which are frustrating me, frustrating fans. PDs is one issue. There's also, there's also this po politics in boxing where if you're with one promoter, you can't fight the other promoter. If you're with one broadcaster, you can't fight the other fight. It's just really frustrating because it's preventing big fights from happening. And as a boxing fan, you're, you're frustrated because you're thinking, when are we going to get Spence Crawford? Crawford's not getting any younger. He's in his 30s. Spence is still young. So is it going to be a case where Spence is going to get... So, sorry, Crawford's going to get to 36, 37 before we see that fight, or are we going to eventually see the fight? Um, I don't know. It's really frustrating. Mayweather Pacquiao was a completely different situation. Mayweather Pacquiao could be built into a mega, mega fight because both those guys were huge, huge stars. Neither of these guys have that kind of pull or appeal that it's going to be made into a Mayweather Pacquiao. This fight's only going to be as big as it can be. It's not, I don't think it gets that big where we're talking hundreds of millions neither of these two have that kind of personality they don't have that um pulling power they don't have that appeal you know and by now if, if they were to have that appeal we would have seen it you know terence crawford's in his 30s by by mayweather was a star by by then you know pacquiao was a star by then it's, they, they, they've only got a certain limit these guys can grow. The fight's not going to be as big as a Mayweather Pacquiao. So we need to make these fights happen. Because the, te, right now, Terence Crawford, Errol Spence is probably the best fight that can be made in boxing. Two undefeated welterweight champions, right? You can't get better than that. We saw with Joshua Wilder what can happen. What One can get beat. You know, Crawford may fight Danny Garcia, could lose. Spence fighting Sean Porter. It's not a no gimme fight. He could lose. We need to make the best fight the best now. You can't expect that these guys are going to keep winning. You know, they fight, if, they, if they fight top level, level opposition, anything can happen. The other guys come in to win. We need to see the best fight the best right away, just like the UFC do. The UFC don't mess around. The, the best fight the best. The best fight the best in the UFC. They fight the best, and that's why, that that that's why we have, we have great we have, we have great fights. That's why the UFC's interest is is it continues to grow because the fans are getting to see the best fights in boxing. We're not getting that, and it's frustrating. So I understand Terence Crawford's frustration because he's on the other side of the fence where he knows that the fighters are not with him, but he's just basically telling the report that listen, in boxing there's no. You're on the other side, or you're on the other side of the street. It's boxing. The best fight the best. Everyone fight each other. That's the whole point of boxing, and he's spot on. He's spot on. He's not, he's not saying rub. He's not talking rubbish. He's talking, he's talking sense. The best fight the best. Unfortunately, in boxing, we've now got to this point where that's not the case anymore. There's all these broadcasting issues, there's all these promoter issues, they don't like each other so the fights don't happen. It's disgraceful, really. And I, I feel for Terence Crawford, but leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below about it. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.